What is going on guys? We are here with Blunder vs. Finch for Snake Draft and Blunder's team is kind of Auras looking. The only Gen 7 one, one is Majorna, so it's kind of like Voltron and to probably Specs Gengar. And Rocks, Rocks Lander or Rocks Mawile. But I assume it's going to be Scar of Ladi on Blunder's team. Because otherwise he's... Uh, I don't think Scar of Lander would fit on this one. So Finch has a Ducky Ducky is still legal. Mega Mawile is going to be super annoying for Stall once this one gets banned. There's a lot of ones that are going to be way more annoying for Stall, Banter and stuff. Blunder's just going to Volt Switch here. Even though this is like... I mean, after the protect, now he's gonna volt switch. This is really annoying because he has the two volt switch blockers. So that's like, if you look at the team, you're like tempted to, to not click. You're tempted to not click volt switch if you look at his team. But then, but then he has a chance, which is like really obvious to come out here. So you kind of have to click volt switch. Like I know we all know that uh, he's not never going harder to Dougie because he needs that for the more while. Crack on the other side, he might risk that. But yeah, he dub he just doubles into um more while. Um, I guess he doesn't want to reveal Volt Switch or he doesn't have it. I mean, we don't know confirmed if it's AV, but it's, it's, it should be AV on this team. Like Dark Pulse switches are not really existent otherwise. I mean, even if even if he spadef Rodan, that's not a good switch, and this one has this has bad spadef, so it's not a good switch into Dark Pulse. So I assume this is a AV. And I assume that we see a knockoff or a player off from Blunder here. It's probably a player off. Like, what does he lose from clicking it? Like, even there's a there's a Majorna, I know, but this is still gonna take like 30 percent. Yeah, 34. Oh yeah, Hot Mobile Time would have been a fire play as well, but I think he, he played it pretty fine. So we do see it's a lefties Majorna uh, on Finch side. Not sure if it's gonna be like pain split to stay healthy. Because he doesn't have any wish pairs. But at least he has lefties to stay healthy. If he's um if he has enough bulk on Sable to live off quicks. I mean Sable lives to off quicks from defensive land. I mean the lefties on the land are kinda indicating that this is defensive. Uh, yeah, actually looking at Blunder's team, this has to be defensive land with HPIs. Because Zygat destroys him. Like Zygat completely destroys him. He goes in a zap though, I expected him to go zap there. Oh wait, he's talking about some book. Is he talking about that book in a video too? Oh, I haven't seen Blunder's newest upload. Um, I watched all Blunder uploads, but I haven't seen the newest one. <laughs> Oh, the the video has to do. Oh, the nickname has to do with the book that he mentions in his video, and Finch's Zap does his name after that. Okay, so I think he could he could potentially trick here, predicting the chancey. Spec Shadow Ball is like kind of scary for Finch, so he would be tempted to go into chancey. He goes into Saber predicting the trick. That was a good play. Um. Like, I know it was a good play, but I would... If Blunder predicted that, I went for Shadow Ball, he would have taken a lot. Like, we can calc a uh, Spadef Sableye. If it's Max Spadef, then I completely understand Finch's play. Doubles out into Dagi. Oh my god, calm down, and it's Ground Z and kills the Majorna. Okay, so Finch making some power plays here. The Dagi not being Sash, we already found that out, means that the mobile... Um... That is probably going to be substitute, which means there might be some mind games with the more while going for player of predicting a sub. Um, I assume Blunder is going to spam Volt Switch or Wisp here. Probably Volt Switch. I mean, you can't. Yeah, yeah I would just Volt here predicting the chance here. If there's the chance, there's the Volt Switch. Yup. And Mawile comes back in here and clicks player of. Yeah, exactly. I like when stall players play aggressive. Like, like if you just play safe with stall, it's kind of boring to watch. I know you can afford to play just just safe some matchups, but some matchups where you're forced to play aggressive, I like that a lot. Watching that, but yeah, the crit sucks. 
Now he's in range from another player of. And the Dagi also can't kill the Morwell from full. So Blender can just play, spam player of versus the Dagi. Like, I wanted to collect that real quick Dagi versus Morwell. Uh, Earthquake does 84 to 100, so yeah, like, unless he gets like a high roll. And uh, this Morwell might also run more HP. Like, he definitely needs a high roll. So he didn't wanna. He didn't want to get trapped by the doggy, I assume. Oh, it is Spence, but that's what I was I talked about that earlier, yeah. That makes sense on this team to keep it healthy. Nice play by Blunder. So the last move on this... Could be Ice Beam, could be Flurken, it could be, whatchamacallit... Heart Swap? To steal stat boosts? I mean, he has an Unaware Quag, but like... And he, ha he has also has a ground seed dagger to help versus Manaphy, but Manaphy looks somewhat annoying. I mean, it's a Chansey, but Chansey doesn't beat mana that well. Especially if it's Hydro Vortex, it does a lot. And if it's lefties, the Chansey can't even status the Manaphy. Um, so... I would trick again if I was Blunder, like, I would definitely trick again. Okay, okay, never mind. Oh my fucking god, finish the god. So, I mean, I really have to to run a card now how much specs Gengar does versus Max Bedev Sableye. Because if he's if he's just bringing it in because he's Max Bedev. I mean, I know there was another 50-50 and I like, I, can, I understand Finch's play, but it's a wild play. And unless he's able to munch, if he's able to eat two uh, Shadow Balls with ease. Let us let us make him max bedev. So I will have 36 to 43. I assume he's max bedev. Or that's life of that's not specs. Choice specs Gengar. It is uh yeah, that's still like easy that's in Finch's favor. The only problem I with that would be that, that the Gengar can obviously get Spedev drops or crits. So he's uh willing to sack his Lottie here to get some damage on this. I mean I think I think Finch just yeah, Finch just outplayed really nice there. <laughs> so I don't know if he's um, gonna try like gonna kill it this time, or if he's, if he if he always switches out on the Magenta and like I know this is just how stupid Duck Tree is. Like it's Arena Trap is finally banned now. Yeah, the Eye Papa Berry is nice. I like that set a lot, but now he gets to save a healthy. Like, you guys can see how, like, Dagi forces Blunder to play in a certain way. Otherwise, his mobile, mobile would get super low. Slash, um, like, what Finch could also do is spam sub and hope for a player of miss. So now he sacked off his, um, like, this was about to happen. I mean, Mobile lives one, so Blunder can just spam player of here. Um, oh, my, my computer is gonna die. I hope I get my charge on before the game. Uh, before my computer battery ends, God. Okay, we made it in time. As he lost the sucker punch mind game there. Oh my God, he said that's a bitch, LMA. <laughs> so, wow, there was a fire play from Blunder. Now this mobile just puts in all the work whenever it comes in on the chance or on the save line. Good God, Blunder was like, nah, 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 you're not predicting me again, I've had enough. <laughs> like, I completely understand Finch's play of just attacking because the sub is like somewhat obvious. Finch has won those game, those those mind games or like 50s earlier with the, the trick versus Shadow Ball, but now Blunder's like, nah, not anymore, boy. We've already seen this as lefties mana. If he with Kratos mana, Kratos mana used like some offensive zapdos with Zemov, I think, in World Cup. They would be able to potentially oh, cool the Mowile. So I think we're gonna see like the the Rotom come out and go for a Volt Switch or Pain Split. If Rotom can take two discharges, then Blunder might go to it. If it doesn't take two, then it's a bit more annoying for him. Because this mobile is just too important to leave it in and but discharge parrot. So that's also a nice play to go into this and get lefties. Uh, I can definitely see him pivoting into Rotom here. Yep. 
And did he predict that? He did not predict that. Gold plays. So now you can just um either Volt Switch or Willow Wisp, but probably Volt Switch. Okay, Pen Split. I thought he would just predict him to like switch out and he wants to hit um no, 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 actually, if he breaks the chance, he doesn't have to vote, which Pen Split would give him a lot of health back. I mean, he's, this is like, that was a bit risky going for Will-O-Wisp, because he could have gone into Sableye there. But yeah, Blunder's getting all the plays correct, I can't say anything. <laughs> now he's getting it correct. Yeah, Blunder's like in a really good position now, he can vault eventually. And he can go into Gengar here. And he's just gonna Shadow Ball, uh, he's just gonna Trick again, I think. Actually, I'm not sure at this point. But I can f I can see Finch going at Chansey. <laughs> because yeah, the Sableye is not healthy enough to come in. I mean if Finch goes in the, in the Sableye, like the chat the chat is gonna go wild if he goes in the Sableye and another trick. Like I can see def I can definitely see that happening, that he goes in the Sappy and another trick. Uh, we shall see. <laughs> yeah, I think like I really think that Finch is gonna go on the Sableye again because like the Sableye is at the in 28k orange 28k orange from Shadow Ball easily and like Finch is like nah he's not gonna expect this watch <laughs> yeah but Blonda definitely played this like fire Like, what would be really nice on Bunda's team is like Healing Wish support for the Morwell. If he had Healing Wish support for the Morwell, then he didn't even have to get the 50 on the Sucker Punch correct. Be like, he could just afford to take the Earthquake unless the Earthquake gets a max roll, he's fine. Oh god! Finch gets it correct. I really thought he would have gone into Sable there, so I, I probably would have also gone for Shadow Ball. That's the skill swap taking away the um, huge power from the Mawile and now Chansey <laughs> now Chansey can go for softball unless this has like SD So Finch is uh, still prepared for opposing uh, Duggies He has the skill swap so he can't get trapped <laughs> The seismic is gonna do 200 damage Yeah so the Mawile was easily forced out there Um. I think Finch is gonna stay in here expecting Blana to go for Shadow Ball. Because the Sableye is in the back. But this is this is just mind games. Um, I think I would just go for Trick here because I, I just have a feeling that Finch is gonna stay in. It's hard to explain. I don't think he's gonna go Sableye. He he just loses. He loses too much. I mean, if he loses his revival, he's also fucked. So this is this is just a. This, I would say this is like a really important turn that like, like I know Blunder's already in a decent position, but he doesn't he doesn't have this one yet. Like he he still has to get some plays correct. And he does get this play wrong. It's like I I told you guys. I had a feeling that he's gonna stay in. Now we have a cursed body, Chansey. I mean, this Rotom is super annoying for Finch because it has, um, Paint Pit has like 32 PP and now it's poison, but like, I mean, he still has 27 left. So he's gonna be forced to softball. The Mawile can fire off another, um, powerful, si um, play rough. And Skills Up also only has uh, 14 PP left and Softball only has 13. But yeah, Blunder has to play it well, obviously. Plarov should do a lot and he's gonna skill drop here as he gets to disable. Oh my god. That was that was really risky from Finch's part. Wow, he skill swapped the Gengar's cursed body and disabled the player. That was so funny. Good god. But that was so lucky on Finch's part, like that he, he's going for the fire frame flinch or burn. That was so risky that he like not that he didn't skill swap there. Um, I would go for Shadow Ball again yet now this time. Like last time I would have gone for Trick, expecting Finch to stay in, but this time I would just go for Shadow Ball. Did he make the play? 
Oh, he just went for trick, man. I mean, leftovers, Gengar. Like this is that, that is actually fine for Blunder. Yeah, this is not the end of the world. If he, if he went Zap down a trick, that would have been way worse for Blunder. But now he has a crippled. The Cracksaw is crippled now. He can just go Rotom here exactly. The Cracksaw is now crippled, and he can just Volt Switch here. And two, he still has a leftovers Gengar, which means he can still potentially trick the Chansey later. So he can try to cripple another one. He just has to be careful that Finch doesn't go back into the quack on a tree. But even then, even if he make, if even if Finch makes that play, like, it, like if Skillswap, if Skillswap had like a lot of PP, I would say Finch had like a decent chance. But his Skillswap and his softball, they're both getting lower and lower eventually. So like, I feel like Morwa is gonna overpower the Chansey eventually. But yeah, let me pause real quick till Blunder comes back. You can't DC was a Finch, yeah, he takes the DC wins. <laughs> 40 seconds, no! Okay, I was about to pause, but he only has 40 seconds. Don't time out, come back. This game was funny and fire. <laughs> when, like, I wouldn't expect to have so much fun watching, like, a stall game, but it was... Did he send in his team? No, you can't just do this. Because if, if he didn't send in this team, is he gonna take the win? Oh, he's back, he's back. Phew. Ah, nice. A high room was actually a really nice play there, but now I would Volt Switch. Yeah, I mean, he probably stand in his team, like, he's not stupid, right? Because we had, we've had enough... Th like, this ha happened enough in World Cup that people, like... Like, I think Sowind lost to Timeout. Oh, it was only one. What was that? There might have been another game. I think there was a game in, in, yeah, in Oro Premier League where Finch took a Timeout win versus Gypsy. I think Gypsy didn't stand in the team, right? I don't remember, though. But yeah, I like this Protect land a lot to stay healthy. It might it might actually be toxic, but I, yeah, on this team I think it has to be HPI and Earthquake. It's just, it makes a lot of sense on this team, Protect, just to keep you Lando, Lando healthy, because everything else can, cannot really switch into Zygarde. Are we gonna see Chin Finch go into Quack, predicting the trick here? Or... Nice. I, th I think he might just go into Sableye, since the Gengar lost the specs. Yeah, since the Gengar lost the specs, you can go to Sable and click Recover as long as he doesn't get Spadef dropped. But no, he says no, I have to stun. Now he's gonna go Sable, I watch. Just Shadow Ball again, my man, trust me. Just trust me, he's gonna go Sable here. <laughs> Yo, did he did he break that? Nice, nice play. Um, but he doesn't get the Spadef drop, so this is a Recover. I think he, he can stay in here and fish for the Spadef drop once, but it's risky. Yeah, he fishes for it. Crit slash Spadef drop, and now he's probably gonna switch. Um, Hot Mora is a bit risky. I mean, Mora would work on the recover and it would work on the knockoff, but if he will always see for some reason Hot Mora is. would be really, really bad for Blunder. I think he should have gone Hot Mora last turn now that I think about it. Because it was pre. like, Finch had to recover last turn, but this turn. this turn he's not in 2 KO range, so he might make a wild play and go for Willow Wisp here. <laughs> And if he catches the mole on the switch, it's gonna be so bad for Blunder. Yeah, I completely agree with not risking the mole, even though it would have worked out there. So now he gets probably gonna Volt Switch. And now the mole is in and can click Play Rough. But he doesn't want to let the mole get too low, I guess, from the. Like it's. Oh, is the Mora in Seismic Toss range? Maybe the Mora is in Seismic Toss range. I thought it wasn't. Let me do that. Let me see. Seismic. Oh, Mora is in Seismic. Okay, my, my apologies. I messed up there. Okay. I thought Seismic Toss only does like 38, but it does 30. I thought it does like less than... No, I thought it only does like 26 is what I meant to say. But it does... Oh god, it does more. So this isn't actually... Oh my god. Finch, there's a wild one. Did he predict that? 
I think Blunder predicted him to go into Quack. Did did he go? Did Crack out? Does Crack out speed and he forfeits? Well, I thought he had this game won, but like that is able that is able was just so lucky for Finch. And, oh God, I didn't realize that the model was an S toss range and well. I mean, there were like two turns where Finch got it got it correct with the sab earlier, but yeah, this game was still interesting overall. I have Finch's other snake game from yesterday, so I'm not gonna say his score. I'm not don't wanna spoil that in case you haven't seen it. That game was also fire, and it's not gonna take long. It's only like six minutes, maybe eight minutes or ten. But yeah, that's a fun one. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, exactly. This game was completely lost if he didn't get that cursed body. He has skill swap and then he skill swap the cursed body and one time he skill swap the huge power away. That was so nasty. But yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. You were also on also won on luck. I didn't see that game. I saw a few turns of it. Is there anything else going on? I don't think so. So yeah, we have ABR versus Bush Tush coming later. Stay tuned for that as well. And a lot of OT series from the weekend are coming. Hope you all enjoyed and goodbye. Unfortunate loss for Blunder, that sucks. Good god. I would be so mad.